and Mind Crypto here. I hope we're all having a wonderful day. I know I am. The sun is shining and I am smiling. Please remember, I'm not a financial advisor and none of this is financial advice and none of the information provided in this video should ever be taken or seen as a signal to buy or to sell. But as you know, we look at the crypto bubbles first and foremost. And as we can see, it's a bit of a mix out there at the moment. And we're still seeing Quant under that $90, currently $84 down one rank to 82 with a market cap of just over that $1 billion. It did dip below, but we just creeped back over. 24 hour volume still fairly low under $17 million. So yes, you may think that price action is absolutely terrible. It may be, but I'm not that bothered. I look at the fundamentals and I look at what's going on behind the scenes. And I've got some good news for you today. So we see here from the spot exchange reserves, we can see we have declined. We are lower than that 250,000. We're currently sitting at 246,000 sitting on exchanges. Now, I've not seen that for the last couple of weeks. So very, very promising. Will we see it go lower? We'll have to wait and see. But when we look here, I've done this a while back, we can see this general trend. Now, if we follow this general trend back from July 2021, this slow decline of what's on spot exchanges, when will we see a supply shock? Now, I've created a forward thinking exchange reserve graph here so we can see if we continue along this path. Now, we may see another dip like this. This is certain news that came out. We saw the supply dip again. And if we see that again at some point, hopefully in this summer, we could see boom, straight down. And if we're looking at that, we could see it under that 200,000 on exchange. Now, we'll have to wait and see. That's dependent on news and whether or not people decide to pick it up and at these prices, well, it's absolutely a steal in my opinion. Now, I saw this yesterday. Now, I've been looking around at what's going on with the top holders. I spend my time looking at news surrounding them. So if we look here, France's fourth largest holder, the UK's Alwood Technologies, raises $70 million from Goldman Sachs, Barclays, and others. Elwood Tech provides digital asset trading infrastructure to BlackRock and Bloomberg. They're an institutional custodian, so they could be holding funds for massive institutions. And I put here 2024, the year of institutional adoption. And we can see this from GV. And we notice if you look here, Elwood hold 416,000 quant worth 36.63 million. And that, Obviously, we can see a little bit of ETH in here. This jam, absolutely nothing. Probably uh, a scam coin. I don't know. But they pretty much only hold Quant in this wallet. So that's very, very interesting. And if we look at the news here from Coin for Mania, Alan Howard's crypto exchange raises $70 million from Goldman Sachs, Barclays, and others. We can see the investment realm was led by banking giant Goldman Sachs and venture fund Dawn Capital. Other participants included Barclays, BlockFi, Ventures, Chimera Ventures, Commerce Ventures, Digital Currency Group, Flow Traders, and Galaxy Digital Ventures. Founded by British billionaire hedge fund manager Alan Howard in 2018, Elwood is a global fintech firm that provides digital asset trading infrastructure to institutional investors such as Bloomberg and BlackRock. And obviously, we know they're the fourth largest holder of Quant on, as we can see from Arkham Intelligence. The company plans to use the fund to improve and expand its product offerings, as well as scale its operations to better serve its clients. The rich mix of investors participating in this raise reaffirms the movement of the financial institutions working closely with their native digital asset technology providers, which is absolutely brilliant because their big banks are now plowing into these digital asset managers Together, we aim to provide broader mass market involvement in digital assets and cryptocurrencies. And this was from James Strickland, the CEO of Elwood. The funding shows a continued acceptance of crypto by major traditional financial institutions. Matthew McDermott, global head of digital assets at Goldman Sachs, said the investment in Elwood shows the bank's commitment to digital assets. As part of that commitment, Goldman has made some crypto moves in recent times, shortly after processing its first over-the-counter OTC transaction. The Wall Street Bank offered its first ever Bitcoin-backed loan to its clients. We see here large banks get into crypto. 
In recent times, major banking institutions have joined the crypto industry through investments or by offering digital asset services to clients. In March, investment bank Cowan launched a digital asset unit dubbed Cowan Digital that will offer institutional clients spot crypto trading services. Recently, private banking and asset manager group LGT partnered with Switzerland's Ciba Bank who offer cryptocurrency investment services to private clients. Now, this is very, very interesting as we see Elwood, the likes of Copper, which I'm going to do a post on today because I found out some really, really interesting information. But if we go over to this from an original post I made back in April, and I highlighted two weeks ago on the 12th of April, 2024, 628,000 quant left Bitcoin Swiss wallet and 566,000 of that headed to UK-based Elwood Technologies and 150k left to copper.io, leaving 416 quant balance at Elwood, which is very, very interesting. This transaction was also made just before the RLN Regulated Liability Network announcement on the 15th of April, 2024. And obviously, as we know, Quant and R3 will be utilized for their proof of concept. The RLN was conceived by Cities Tony McLaughlin, as we can see here. Largest UK banks join Regulate Liability Network trials as R3 Quant selected. We also see this on the 24th of January, 2024. City-backed Elwood Technologies were approved by the FCA, UK's Financial Conduct Authority. So it makes you beg the question, I wonder what that 44 millions worth of quant is going to be used for. Follow the money. And as we can see here, city backed Elwood gets UK regulatory approval for crypto trading platform. And as we can see, more and more money is coming in to crypto. Because if we see this, Alan Howard's cryptocurrency exchange Elwood has secured 70 million in Series A funding round at a 500 million valuation. So things looking absolutely crazy. And we know from what Gilbert has been telling us all along, Gilbert Verdin, our founder and CEO, identifies and interprets the most significant blockchain trends for 2024 and explores the profound impact that they will have across the financial sectors. Last year, it was more important than ever to distinguish crypto from the technology that powers it. Although 2023 was tumultuous for cryptocurrencies, with the heads of several high-profile exchanges facing criminal proceedings and the UK government announcing its plans to regulate the industry, which we're going to see hopefully in July this year. Hopefully, and that sort of coincides with SATP, the Secure Asset Transfer Protocol. Now, is that a coincidence that regulations for staking and stablecoin come about at the same time that SATP has been called for adoption? It says here, blockchain technology continued its path towards broader use the more successful central bank digital currency experiments and launch of prominent commercial bank digital coins. He says, our prediction for 2024 is that it will be the year of widespread institutional adoption of this transformative technology. So in my eyes, you can't get any more bullish than that. He's saying it all along. He drops us these cryptic messages Remember, the devil is in the detail. Now, if we look over here, just remember today is the start of the Future of Finance digital money event happening today where our founder and CEO, Gilbert Verdian, will be joining a panel that explores the different models for single programmable platform for all financial assets. So very, very exciting. We've got lots to come over the next coming six months or so. So stick in there, stay patient, all the best. Please remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any further videos and I'll catch you later.